In the last few decades, the world has reduced poverty, increased incomes, and opened access to education and healthcare for some of the world's most impoverished people. But today, the world faces enormous challenges that threaten to undo these gains, including climate change and widening inequality. The Sustainable Development Goals provide a roadmap for how to tackle our time's most urgent issues by 2030. But governments can't achieve them alone. The Global Goals need business. And the Business and Sustainable Development Commission was created to show that business meets the Global Goals. What we want to do with this commission was change the attitude of business to development, lift it out of the world of something we ought to do, of corporate social responsibility, of philanthropy, and make it a business problem and opportunity. A problem in the sense that unsolved, the whole climate and opportunity for business in the world will, will shrink as these problems rise in their seriousness and intensity. But solved, through business engagement, uh, problems that offer literally a P&L, a bottom line, an opportunity to make profit out of doing good. And, and so our challenge was to show that these development issues, far from being big intractable black holes, can be broken down into extraordinarily profitable, dynamic business opportunities. And that's what we've done with this report. Blended finance is the marriage of philanthropic or public grant capital with traditional return-oriented capital and a mutually reinforcing structure that facilitates the financing of uninvestable projects. And the goal of the Blended Finance Task Force is to bring together stakeholders from the public and private sector together to overcome barriers to financing and to propose actionable recommendations which would allow trillions of dollars of capital flows to bridge the gaps in the SDGs. And by accessing and blending these different pools of capital in creative ways, I'm absolutely convinced that we can bridge the sometimes seemingly impossible financing needs that are required to meet the UN SDG objectives. Well, the Business and Sustainable Development Commission was set up to do good. I mean, business is part of society. It's got to be a good ancestor. It's got to leave a legacy. Business has been one of the greatest forces for good in history. We need to make sure we keep being that. The company I work for, Ladol, is creating a new master plan for our free zone. We're going to be creating a circular economy based on the 17 SDGs that carries out high value industrial projects. So we're going to be doing some of the most challenging fabrication, engineering uh, activities in Nigeria, supporting the entire region, and we're going to be doing all of it in a sustainable economic free zone. So the most important thing is that there is a generation that is coming after us, which we refer to loosely as the millennial generation, who are significantly more aware than we are of the importance of the Sustainable Development Goals and the need to protect society. So the message that I'd like to give to that generation is we are alert, we are awake, and as business leaders, we as a group of CEOs have created a framework whereby the world that they inherit will be a significantly better one than the one that we inherited. And in turn, I think it's extremely important for all of us to realize that this is no longer a nice to do, it's a must do. And by doing so, we will change the world for the better. As identified by the Better Business, Better World report, transforming the food and land use system presents one of the biggest opportunities to achieve the SDGs. In fact, today's food system is not fit for purpose and it is failing us, environmentally as well as socially. Transforming food and land use systems will take work from all the people who understand and shape those systems, from scientists to policy makers to consumers to business, as well as technology pioneers. The new Food and Land Use Coalition, set up by the Business Commission, aims to do exactly that by bringing together a coalition of over 30 organizations, and I'm proud to chair this new initiative. The Business Commission has some amazing women leaders involved, and at some point we were talking about the SDGs and their leadership of this agenda. We realized that actually the SDG agenda, as it is very commonly uh, framed, talks about women as being recipients of the Sustainable Development Goals and empowered by the Sustainable Development Goals, as opposed to necessarily taking a leadership role. We decided that the Business Commission should try and change the narrative. 
So Women Rising 2030 is really about encouraging women to stand up and lead for the Sustainable Development Goals wherever they are. Well, we've got 13 years to go, haven't we? And if we've only got 13 years, I'm a bit worried about how much we have to do in a short period of time. But it is gaining momentum. And as you gain momentum, these things tend to speed up. What do we need? We need alignment. We need far less talking and much more action. We need concrete plans and concrete goals. And some of the, especially the four key initiatives out of the Business and Sustainable Development Commission, they go some way to getting some concrete action plans. But there's so much more to do. We still have time to save our planet. Let's do it now. Water comes first in business and in life. A new social contract, the SDGs, the Paris Climate Agreement, act now. Business needs to look beyond our own operations to transform the entire value chain and to address the scale of the environmental and social challenges that exist.